Good morning, Warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here on Simple Saturday. Sorry if uh, there's so much uh, noise going on, but uh, today I was driving home from the battlefield and the uh, I believe in God and he does speak to you. And he said, you have to go where I first spoke to you. And I was just like, first spoke to me? That, that could be several places. And automatically I thought about uh, church. And, and he said, no, where I spoke to you and you got the confirmation later of why I sent you there. And I was just like, it's a car wash. You guys should see this place. This is like a beat up old car wash. Look at it. Yeah, like it, it's just run down. And, it, and it's funny, like the day that he told me to go to the car wash, was well, like a day like today. Look at, look at the clouds. It's kind of cloudy. And it's like, I was in my driveway and the Lord said to me, he goes, you need to go wash your car. And I was just like, why Lord, it's gonna rain. And I could wash it here at the house. He said, no. And he gave me specific steps and directions to come to this one. And I was just like, I, I don't understand. But later, Three days later, it was proof in the pudding, I guess that's what you say, of a, a prayer that I've been answering. You know, that look look at how random this place is. It, it's so funny though, because it just reminds me of when you actually really hear God's voice and you get confirmation from someone that you least expect it and I did get confirmation at the, and it, and sometimes when you get that confirmation, it doesn't look like it's in the right place because it's at, to you in your mind and your soul, it, it's just in a awkward uh, situation, I guess. And actually I got my confirmation at a funeral. It was like the most bizarre thing but God showed me everything. He said, you gotta go here. And, and I was just like, why Lord? And he was just like, you will see later. You will see later. And today when I was doing my walk, sorry, I'm gonna come in here because there's an important word I wanna share with you guys. Yesterday, Mark and I were, uh, I mean, not yesterday, but Thursday, Mark and I were doing, uh, I could take this off. Uh, Mark and I were doing um, homeschool and he said and it, it was apologetics or whatever however you say it but it's like these little books and it's it's really cool uh, these kids they ask like questions and I feel like I got something on my nose but um, the kids ask questions and one of the uh, kids asked uh, did Noah gather all the animals and or how did they know to uh go there go to the ark and uh i think the the um scripture was uh genesis 6 and it said i, I don't know the pacific um verse but right off hand I, I i can't remember that that's the whole thing but i remember the concept it said, no, it, it said in the answer, because the book gives you like a brief little answer. And he said, no, uh, Noah didn't go searching. Noah did not go searching. He listened to what God commanded him to do. And all Noah was commanded to do was build the ark. And then have his sons and their wives on the boat. He wasn't commanded to go search and find all over the world two of each kind. No, God commanded the animals to go to the ark, the ones that were chosen. And I was just like, wow, I like it just dawned on me. There are moments where God is going to command you and choose 
and choose you to do something for a reason. And um, he did that with me to come to this car wash. And I don't know the reason why for today, per se, but he told me I was, I was just going to drive home. And he said, no, you need to pull over and talk about this at this car wash. And I was just like, oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me. And so, you know what? After hearing that verse the other day, that he commanded me. And I'm obeying to do it, even though I feel kind of weird and I look, I look like a hot mess. But you know what? It is what it is. And... I'm just doing it and whatever his will is, it'll be done. And I, I've done it and I don't know. I just hope and pray that the um, other people just listen, listen to his voice and know it's him and just obey because it's, it's an awesome feeling. You know, it's time to get on that ark. <laughs> it, it really is. You, you need a safe haven. And that ark was the safe haven for those animals. It, it, it truly did save them. And, uh, and Noah's obedience saved them. And they saved themselves by listening. Because they knew, they knew his voice. And when I got the confirmation I needed, um years ago I should have listened well I, it, it kind of freaked me out because I was just like wow like like really but then it made me wonder what God told this person because it just came out of left field it just came out of left field and I wasn't gonna go to the to the funeral but when I did that person was the first person I saw. And God didn't even tell me that. He just said, just go. Go to the car wash. Sorry, it's loud. But just go to the car wash and um, just do it. Do what I'm telling you to do. He gives you specific instructions. And, and so here I am. And I just... It, and it's just that simple. A lot of people, uh, me included, I, I made things complicated because I tend to overthink. And um, I'm not doing that anymore because that, that, that is, uh, um, it makes things more complicated than what they need to be. But life can be simple. It can be full of joy. It's just that we have to change our mindset about it. And, and I'm so... I don't know. I, I, I feel just being blessed just being here. It, it's it's bananas, but it's the truth. And I just hope you guys have a nice Saturday. And make it, just make life simple. <laughs> you know, you don't need to struggle. And uh, I just uh, pray and hope that you guys have a blessed Saturday.